Okay then, Jess, we take a look at these two swings here now. The left hand one was your kind of before setup. As we said, grip change we made there with that top hand. As you can see here at address, the top part of the grip now is kind of visible where your left hand hasn't come over enough, as we can see in this right hand image now. So getting that grip more in the fingers, so your left palm or your left hand a bit more over on the grip there, that's going to help you now with the swing change we made in terms of hinging the wrist up. You can see on the left, because of that wrist position or the hand position on the club, as you went back now, your wrist weren't really able to hinge in this position. You see the watch pointing down to the ground. So with that watch pointing down, there's no real way your wrist could actually hinge up in that position and get the club up here and continue to go on further around. So your swing was always going to be slightly shorter in length, obviously reduce some power. And if you then try to whack it harder, as you can see, it's a full swing through the ball here now, you can't really create much momentum and much speed. So getting used to that grip, putting that left hand on first, making sure that the thumb sits to the right of centre on that top hand, and then you'll find your right hand just sort of sits on top there, sort of riding piggyback. And you can see now, as your hands are on the golf club there now, a much more kind of efficient grip position and that's going to make it a lot easier now for when the club goes back you're able to kind of hinge the wrist up as we can see now you're turning your torso as you do normally as we get to about here now you see the watch face as you can see pointing back towards the camera and now your wrist can now start hinging up so you're able to make a much more efficient more powerful movement once you're up here now just a question of swinging back down for that golf ball great strike as we can see and then because of that extra speed now creating the backswing that follow through now much longer, much further. I think the ball traveling up to about 80 or 90 yards is kind of your furthest shot, which for someone just starting is very, very impressive. So work on that grip, get this position now to a point where it just feels comfortable. So that's what you do without any thought. And then in terms of the swing thought there, just focusing on that kind of hinge of the wrist there. So if we look at the differences in the grip there, I hope you can see A, where your left hand is positioned, how your watch is kind of further around, your watch face now kind of pointing towards the target more here rather than kind of pointing down towards the ground on the left hand one and then once that's more comfortable just focus on hinging the wrist on the way back get that wrist hinge in the takeaway it's going to create more power more energy and make it a lot easier to put the ball a lot further and a lot straighter so I hope that makes sense any questions obviously give me a shout and i'll see you on thursday and we'll see how you do from there okay cheers jess